When I first got hurt, I remember laying in the hospital bed thinking about all the things I couldn't do anymore. This type of thinking paralyzed my mind more than my body. Our beliefs are incredibly powerful. What we believe about ourselves shapes the future of our lives and what we can accomplish. It's taken over 10 years to figure all this out. And if someone would have told me when I first got hurt, I wouldn't have slipped into a life of sadness and regret. A lot of you will click off this video because it's an uncomfortable topic. But believe me when I say, if you stick around, you'll be on your way to a new compelling future with far less roadblocks than I had to deal with. How many times have you said you can't to something you want to do? I know I used to do it all the time and I wouldn't even try to do it. I would just make up a story in my head about how I can't and then end up not doing it. I'm almost embarrassed about the amount of times I've talked myself out of trying things. Like I can't travel, I can't go hiking, I can't work out, I, I'll never have a girlfriend. I'd try to do one thing one time and then decide that I could never do it because I'm in a wheelchair or I'm too disabled. Which is ridiculous because there's always gonna be someone less disabled than me and always someone who's more. Humans are naturally goal seeking and without a goal, it's easy to slip into a depression. I often talked myself out of things I desperately wanted to do and when I didn't do them, I'd wonder why my life sucked. I was helpless, but you don't have to be. If you're enjoying this video, please leave a like. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe. Having a spinal cord injury requires order, and sometimes that order can turn into rules and not necessarily good ones. I'd make up dumb rules like gotta do skin checks before I do a shower or always got a calf before I get in the tub. I used to write things on my wall to serve as daily reminders, and one day I remember being so fed up with my own rules, I decided to write on my wall, break your own rules, because I was just getting so ridiculous with them. I thought the only way that I could say that I did something is if I did it independently. I mean, come on. How ridiculous. Just because I do something with someone else doesn't mean I didn't do it. I mean, I know people that have summited Kilimanjaro. They haven't done it alone, but does that mean they didn't do it? How you describe your experiences is directly tied to how you bounce back from failure and learn to try again. Black and white thinking can be super dangerous. Start paying close attention when you find yourself saying things like, I can't, I should, I could never, What's the use? Why even try? I always fail. Nothing will work. Once you start to describe your failures differently, your whole life will change. For example, if you fail to go on a hike on your own, that doesn't mean you're a failure and that doesn't mean you can't go hiking. It just means that you haven't been able to figure it out the way that you do it yet. Just because you weren't able to do it successfully today doesn't mean you can't do it successfully tomorrow. You have to redefine what success looks like to you. So I spent about 30 hours and about $300 doing research and preparing for this video. So if you got any value out of it, please consider supporting the Mission of Wheels to Walking on Patreon, linked down below. Experiment and fail often. You might not even be able to sit up on your own right now or even feed yourself. You're gonna fail, what do you have to lose? Do you wanna live an epic and fulfilling life or do you wanna keep saying I can't and end up sad and miserable like me when I canted my way into a crippling depression? I was so helpless and desperate, the only escape I found was in drugs. I became tragically addicted because I was too afraid to fail or try new things. I haven't really told a lot of people that story but if you wanna know more about it, I put a link down below to something called The Untold Story. This entire channel is my experiment. I've tried so many things that I never thought I'd be able to do in a million years. And thanks to the people I've collaborated with, I've been continually inspired to try new things. I believe it's far better to wear out than it is to rust out. So take chances and try new things. By the way, if you like my shirt, be sure to check out my buddy Art's apparel line, link down below. Beliefs are formed in our mind, but often shaped by outside influences. 
I know I had some really negative perspectives about disabled people before I got hurt, and so when I got hurt, I still had those super negative perspectives and would project those onto people. I mean, someone just looking at me, I would automatically assume they were thinking negative of me because I knew how I thought about disabled people, so I thought everyone thought negatively about disabled people. Be careful not to succumb to negative labels and stereotypes you see in movies or TV. There are so many negative stereotypes around disabled people, and specifically wheelchair users and spinal cord injuries, that I decided to make a whole video talking about it because it was driving me absolutely crazy. You can click there to watch it. Only after starting Wheels to Walking and following just about every wheelchair user I could find on Instagram, I realized how wrong all of these labels were. We can do so much and accomplish so much. Don't be afraid to challenge your own perspectives because more than likely, they're wrong. If you're not already, you should follow me on Instagram. And for even more inspiration, you should follow all the people that I follow. So how are you feeling right now? Have a few things I've said struck a chord with you? Are you feeling a little uncomfortable? Are some of those limiting beliefs popping into your head right now? Are you already making excuses? That's fine, don't worry, it's okay. Great change like this is not gonna happen in one second or one day. It takes progression, it's over time. And the only way you're gonna be able to get better at it is if you keep trying over and over. I don't know what you're probably thinking. Richard's crazy, he has no idea what he's talking about. But I promise you, it's not the case. I'm not delusional, I'm a realist, I get it. There probably are real, actual limits that you have in your life. There probably are real, actual things that are holding you back and not something that you just made up in your head. That would be ridiculous. But what I am saying, it's all about taking a new approach. It's about taking a new angle and a new perspective. Just because you can't do something the way that you wanna do it, doesn't mean you can't do it. It just means you haven't figured out how to do it your way yet. It's an experiment, it takes time. I mean, it took me 10 freaking years to figure this out. I used to believe, dead ass, solid belief that there was no way I would ever escape from my addiction and I was gonna die a drug addict. I was convinced I was gonna overdose. I was convinced I was never gonna heal. And here I am, look at me now, over five and a half years drug free and crushing life. I'm doing YouTube, I'm doing a whole bunch of crazy stuff that I never thought I'd be able to do. It's literally unbelievable to me that the things I used to 100% say to myself I couldn't do. I mean, look at last week's video. I told myself I couldn't go hiking like a thousand times. And then I was like, you know what? It's just because I can't go alone. Let me try to go with someone else. And then when I started going with other people, uh, what do you know? I'm hiking again. Even when it comes to the gym, like I used to say to myself, and before I even tried, I didn't even try. I had an all jacked up elbow. I was always peeing and pooping on myself. And I thought to myself, no way I could ever do the gym. I'm way too disabled. The equipment isn't set up for me. No one's ever gonna help me. Da, 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 da. I was just full of so much crap. And the thing is like, you don't have to be. I'm sharing this with you because I don't want you to have to go through what I went through. And the limiting beliefs that we have, they're taught to us from when we're kids. We're taught through trauma, we're taught through all these, these difficulties and issues. And you know, you might be in rehab right now and you might be thinking to yourself like, all the stuff I can't do, but you gotta get those basics down first and then you can explore into other areas and find a new compelling future. I mean, I used to think I could never get a job. And then before I knew it, I was working at a company that was harder to get hired than it was to get accepted at Harvard. Like, okay, how did that happen? I have no idea. But being a disabled person and being a wheelchair user isn't always a bad thing. It isn't always a negative thing. Like I said earlier, there's a lot of labels that are put on us, but you can find a way to take those labels and spin it into something positive. But here's the thing, it all starts in your mind. Your belief leads to action and your action leads to success, and your success leads to belief. And the cycle starts all over again. And don't think that your failures are universal. If you fail at one area in life, that doesn't mean all your areas of life are a failure. That doesn't mean you are a failure. At the very beginning of the video, I mentioned that how you describe your failures uh, heavily impacts the way that your life goes. And I, I truly believe that, that it's not just our failures, but it's all situations that we deal with. You may be thinking to yourself, oh man, I have to use a wheelchair. Well, the thing is you get to use a wheelchair because imagine a life without one. You know, this wheelchair isn't a, a, a binding trap you're not confined to it, you're not stuck in it. If you didn't have this wheelchair, then you'd be stuck in bed. As a matter of fact, there needs to be more gratitude and love for these mobility devices because without them, you would truly be stuck. And it's all about having gratitude for what we have and not what we don't have. The only way to know if you can do anything is to try. And if you don't try, you'll never know. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.